Do me the courtesy and take off your hat. <laughs> do me that honor. <laughs> you could have done me the courtesy. You could have taken off. I'll do you the dishonor of bringing it a little bit lower. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> you can't watch. You obviously can't see it. I can see it. No. The whole episode like that. Like Wesley Snipes in White Man Can't Jump. Your eyes are obviously uncomfortable under that. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Let's watch it. Yeah. Welcome to Jake and Amir Watch Jake and Amir, a web series in which we watch our old web series titled Jake and Amir. Yeah. Uh, this episode is going to be about a very niche subsection of our old web series. A fan favorite. A scroll, uh, scroll episodes. What do you remember about the scroll episodes? A couple things. Uh, one, they like became a regular thing later in the series, like back half yeah. for sure. Not like the quick cut episodes, <laughs> which are like sort of a staple from the beginning. Yeah. Um, but they were. All right, so do you remember when we came up with the first scroll and which, which it was? No. Um, we're doing that weird event for, maybe it was, no, maybe it was the Webbies. We were doing some event in Midtown. Uh -huh. And we were just walking around doing a really weird bit about like which cars are the best to hotbox in. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, and like all of them were just, you know, not actually smoking or something. Right, or it didn't matter what the hot it the didn't, car was. Right. It, oh yeah, that's what it It doesn't was. matter Ford the car. Fiesta <laughs> with the windows rolled down, it doesn't matter because you're baked. Um, and, and then we're like, by the end of the day we're like, oh, this is a video, we should do this as a video. And uh, then so how did the scroll come into play? I think the first one, I want to say that it, it like the the thing was more of like a top ten episode. It was a list. Yeah. And then at one point we like made a joke about like I think we were like joking about how much effort you put into the list. Like just like why do you go home and you think of these lists to present? And then I was like. Uh, and then I think we just thought it was the funniest version if you had like put so much thought and effort in that you put it on a scroll. <laughs> yeah. Max effort is parchment and quill. <laughs> don't, you, just, you don't just type it up. It was also easy to act in it because I was reading from a scroll, but it was hard to hold the scroll up for like 10 minutes in a row because oh, my yeah. shoulders started to go. So I like right. did two in a row. Like, Sorry, I have to put my hands down because I'm holding a scroll just straight out. For but the it was nice because it just said the script. Yes, you printed out onto the scroll. Um, it was also always insane to me how, like, phoned in our scrolls were. Like, there was there were times when we were like, oh, it's a scroll, and we just had to like crumple up a piece of paper and roll it up. Yeah, and sometimes somebody would write it out onto the scroll. Yeah, that was when we had like real good producers. And then sometimes they would just print the script and attach it to the scroll. Yeah, and sometimes they would just hand you a piece of kind of shitty yellow paper and you'd have to like hold the script against that and we could like see it because the script was flying out of the sides. Right, so this is a later scroll episode. We had run out of ideas like top 10 vacations and tr right. alcohol to All drink. like the normal top 10 things. Yeah, and now this is just fish to fry. <laughs> top 10 fish. Which means nothing. I want to say like we had, sometimes I wonder if we like had a pun for what just had what the fish were and then we're like oh let's do a fish scroll because there's a good fish pun okay let's see how this one worked this is from 2013 one of our later episodes yeah. by the way these were my absolute favorite episodes to write because it's just like slam poetry complete gibberish yeah and there's no hey, like and yeah something it's great. smells fishy it's you <laughs> yeah la no no hey hey no stop it <laughs> Top 10 Fish to Fry by Rodrigo O. <laughs> Was that Noise your new last name? So you always, always had a different name. name. Yeah, Amir Valerie Blumenfeld came to play in a scroll video, I think, right? But in this time, my name is Rodrigo O. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat that. Rodrigo my hair also o. looks wet for some reason. Maybe we did why, oh, something why? else. We're interested in frying fish. Number 10, can I borrow a pen? So I could write down the name of this fish, ya bish. <laughs> Makes girls sad, squirrels mad, and men grin. Look no further than the almighty 
penguin. Not a fish. <laughs> not a bird. You think anything that's not a bird is a fish? And yes, it is. It's a flightless bird. Your uh, eyes are very go. blue here. Have you noticed? The oh. background's very blue. Your eyes are very blue. My shirt's very blue. Uh, what were you saying well about penguin? <laughs> I like as I said, isn't is a penguin a, a bird? And um, <laughs> and then my character, I feel like we. <laughs> Just look this up in real life, too. Right. No way that I just like would know that it's a flightless bird. I, I feel like I have a distinct memory of looking at Penguin Wikipedia. Number nine. A sashimi is fine. You don't have to fry your really old dish. Just go to McDonald's and get a filet o fish <laughs> So what are you saying? So that one is <laughs> eat sushi or get filet o fish So it's fish to number fry. Nine is, number nine is you don't necessarily have to fry a fish. You can eat a sashimi <laughs> or go to McDonald's and fry a fish. Right. We're very all over the place and we're really at number nine. The number nine fish to fry is it's a sashimi. So not frying a fish. Oh, we're going through the logic right here. Fish. At McDonald's. Yeah. What? Number eight. <laughs> Fill your plate. When this fat fish died, staring into the camera. Fried. But don't let this mustachian fool you. This fish is all woman. And a crustacean drool cube. <laughs> How are you getting dumber? Excuse. <laughs> Stop saying that. I've asked you. Fair. Number seven. A bacon named Kevin. That's right, this Footloose star has gone too far. I say we dip him in oil and serve him to a horde of angry fans. That's cannibalism. <laughs> Number seven is a, Kev a bacon named Kevin, which right. is probably we took from an old scroll that we didn't use and just slid it in right yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, we, I feel like we did use that it's in like a live show. It's celebrities to have yeah. sex with. Yeah, that was, there was another, I don't know if we ever did it as a video, but we used to do it at a live show. It's like... It was, it was a top 10 scroll of, we called it Babes to Bone. Yeah. And it was all like female celebrities, except none of them were uh, women. Yeah. <laughs> and it was all you not having sex. <laughs> so we just slid it into the fish to fry as a Kevin named ba a Bacon right. named and, Kevin. Uh, yeah, murdering Kevin Bacon is an idea Excuse. here. You know what, forget it. What has Kevin Bacon done that's gone too far? Please just <laughs> done your work. Done your Do work. Do your work, I said. <laughs> done your work. Is that scripted? <laughs> Yes, it was good because you fucking loved writing ways for me to misspeak. Back to the list. Number six, put your halibut on sticks. No need to fry it, that's bad for your diet. <laughs> Not to mention, it'll clog your arteries and make you smell like a fartery. P.U. Poo. P.U. Poo. <laughs> so How do we go, oh, loves it. To fry, you've suggested not frying the fish. <laughs> Once you Why are you even getting mad at me anymore? Just let me read the scroll. I mean, what is wrong with you? The faster you do it, the faster it'll be over. Why is this, our interaction, it's come to this. Number We've run out of ideas. Number five. <laughs> That's a very self aware joke. Number five is Ryan Gosling's start and drive. So you want to fry and eat him as well. Jumping to conclusions. Bad hand. What was his favorite fried fish at the craft services table? I don't know. Do you not? Neither do I. I was hoping you'd uh, jump in right there Are with that. Are you kidding me? What a weird hand motion. <laughs> God, I hate your fingers. Never matter. It's probably like lox or something. Not a fried fish. You think Gosling eats fried fish? You <laughs> fucking idiot, he's an Adonis. You said, you said, what's his favorite fried fish? Gosling's on a strict no fried fish diet. You know it, I now know it. Now you know it. what the he American eats. A second ago, you had no idea what he eats. You know everything now. <laughs> This is now we're back to celebrities entirely. Just talking about Ryan Gosling. This is are my favorite interactions when like you're like dumbly defending something, but you're like defending it really well. Yeah, I'm like kind of correct that Ryan Gosling probably yeah. doesn't eat fried fish, but right. that's not the issue. Like, at you hand. goad me into guessing, and then you make fun of me <laughs> for having a dumb guess, like it was a trick question all along. <laughs> Fried fish. Number four. So why'd you include him on the list? Drop your bass to the floor. My big piranha don't <laughs> want none unless you fry that bun. Oh my god. Look at that cut. Oh my god. I forget you threw <laughs> Pause. Number three. That. <laughs> that, uh, oh my cod, is my I, one of my favorite puns that we've ever done. It's, I like it's, halibut. <laughs> <laughs> you throw a pencil yeah. into my neck. This is our best. This is our best Jake and Amir interaction there ever was. Oh my God! Look at that cut. Uh, and then I, yeah, then I throw a pencil through your Adam's apple. I remember this was like really. It was. We only did it like once or twice, but this thing was like constantly about to fall off. <laughs> yeah, because we couldn't actually push it through. So it's just like 
a heavy pencil sliding down my throat. Yeah, right. We couldn't actually push it into your neck. <laughs> and we still have three more to get through. Yeah. Is it dim in here? We were like, I feel like the pencil was heavier than the, the, the adhesive of the makeup. <laughs> that was the problem there. Or is it just me? I am sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Haddock. Haddock is number three. We have to go to a hospital. I'll go in a bit. Number two? Nah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> number three. Did you, I forget how this ends. Did you fucking know that you were going to get <laughs> stabbed with a pencil? That's why they get fast at the end. Or am I just like, go, let's forget the rhymes and just do the fish. <laughs> it's, all, it's all not fish and not fried all the way up until number three, which is just Haddock. Okay, we're like, I'm not choking around anymore, it's haddock. <laughs> Cause I'm choking on my own blood. Yeah. White fish and speck, a deep fried tuna. Will help you forget the pain in your neck. Did oh. you know this was- Oh, happening? there it is. It's a fortunate coincidence. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> so I talk about making you forget the pain in my neck and you're like, did you know? And you're like, nah, that's just a weird coincidence. <laughs> you call it a fortunate coincidence. This pencil is no fun. You're absolutely freestyling. <laughs> Rodrigo, oh. You warlock. I taste only blood, perhaps a bit of lead. Soon the fried fish won't be all whom are dead. My friend did this to me, he's a murderous beast. But let my last words be this. Fried fish is a feast. Nice. And now I'm deceased. <laughs> Rolling up the scroll. You're not in any rush. <laughs> um... <laughs> I do fear that I'm actually going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets serious at the end. I fear that I'm actually going to die. <laughs> if we had a budget, we, the next episode would take place in a hospital. So what happened? Uh, you read me this script, I uh, threw scroll it. of sorts. I'm getting arrested. You notice yes, when, I, when I turn the scroll, it's just the last line. Yeah. And then I just keep reading. <laughs> Where did that text come from? <laughs> Solid scroll up. That's a great episode. What is the end of this? Is it a call to action? Or yeah. In, oh, it's a call There to are action. outtakes, but the end of that is a call to action. Gotcha. I wanted to watch one other uh, scroll video. This one is years before that. Yes. When the hot thing in America was butt chugging. Cool. Do you remember that? I do remember. Yeah, I remember when butt chugging was an issue. Was yeah, a frats used to do it, I guess. It was a hazing half thing, hazing. And half, then half like, yeah, people just liked to get fucked up faster. Yeah. yeah. So he said, what are the best wines to butt chug? <laughs> hey, happy new year. You're watching Jake and Amir. 2011, y'all. Nope. Beard, Whoa, beard, New York. Jesus. Dead of winter. Wow. Can you not fall asleep right now? That was the max beard. That disgusting habit that you've picked up. It's called butt chugging. And last time I checked, it wasn't disgusting. Really? Have you checked recently? Because according to the news story that I saw, it involves sticking a funnel inside your asshole and ingesting alcohol through your colon. It's funny, we felt like we had to, we had to explain what it, what it was. Shopping. It was Did too of the moment. Agent? Pirate ship or something? By a mere That's one of our worst scrolls. How about you never say that again in the office? Number 10. I'll say it again. If the taste is heinous, shove it up your anus. You'll get drunker, better, faster, stronger. That is what you did last night at my New Year's party, but do you think you were drunker, better than anybody? Because I think you showed up blackout drunk at 7 p.m. in half a tuxedo, just the top half. You were naked, waist down. You had a glass <laughs> champagne flute stuck inside your Silly butt. faces to help pass the time. Number nine. This is a combo video. Because like we do, we do some of these where it's like a really long, wait, you should pause it. This is a combo video. Because sometimes we do like a really long story where you're like, it's like a recap of something insane that happened. That's right. But we're doing a recap of something insane and a scroll video. That's do we right. always do that? No, not necessarily. I, yeah. The last one wasn't. Shoving blended fish inside your butt, then yeah, I bet it does. To each? Oh, fish. Thematic. Number eight, it must be fate. A Zinfandel for this infidel make me think, don't ask, do tell. I stick a funnel in my butt. We all know what you that do. That was sort of a, 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 a thing that you do, right? What? Uh, or it was like, a, what, a sleeveless shirt for this piece of oh, dirt. Yeah. A Zinfandel for this infidel make me say, do ask, do tell. Yeah. I stuck a thing in my butt. Oh, wow. I don't even know if I noticed that. Yeah. I fucked my uncle on a rave. <laughs> okay, you ruined New Year's. 
when everybody was counting down, you bent over and farted vodka onto the TV. <laughs> I'm the life and death of every party. Yeah, you definitely killed the mood when you slipped and fell and shattered that glass champagne flute inside your body. Oh, you dear. The hospital, but the doctor refused to operate on you. He said, in the long run, it might be better if you just died. Number seven is <laughs> That's another, uh, That's right. recurring, a recurring, like a recurring thing. You like bring yourself so close to death that people are just like, I think he does need to die. <laughs> Medical professionals <laughs> urging death. Do you think- Just you, forsaking their Hippocratic oath. Do you like your beard in this episode or would you say it's too long? I think, I, I like my effort here. If I could go back in time and just like put some beard oil in there, run a beard comb through it, I think it's a good beard. It was not well groomed. Right. But like the length, there was, the crazy thing is that's, this is only like a five month beard. I've had a long, I've had like a six or seven month beard. Longer than that. Longer than that, but it, you can't really tell because like now I like take slightly better care of it. Interesting. That thing is just like mange. There's, this is your first attempt. I don't even know if I like, I mean, maybe I put like head and shoulders in it every once in a while. It's a this, learning beard. Uh, that beard, do you remember this? It was a bet with Streeter. Mm, right, he couldn't cut his hair and you couldn't cut your beard. Yeah. And he, he won. Uh, Streeter won. You cut your beard. This was, even though this is a New Year's episode, this is leading up to the holiday party. In December. Yeah, and like finally right before the holiday party, I, like Streeter, basically liked his hair. Yeah, you weren't gonna win. I wasn't gonna win. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I, I shaved before the holiday party. I forget the stakes of the bet. I was supposed to get any haircut that Streeter wanted. But, but that never happened. He never asked me to do it. He could still call bread that in now. Rye bread and this ass get The day before your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go uh, monk bald spot. <laughs> Caesar. Oh. That's fed. AKA you freeze the loaf and chisel off little suppositories that you stick inside your ass all night like little Tic Tacs. Is that what you do with Tic Tacs? Yeah. Why? Number six, it's for dicks. Take a Capri Sunstraw and I'm not even reading the scroll. Bra. With a reverse piss, you can't. Unless you're holding something and I'm I looking past that scroll. With honors, sir. That definitely uh, could be. P no noir? More like P yes. Lar. Whoa. Whoa. Bad. Sometimes we just didn't have a rhyme. <laughs> and that's fine because I'm a dumbass. Yeah. This isn't a final? Why are you reading it in front of me? Number four. <laughs> One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, sore. Oh, if your anus ain't bruised all night, then you ain't funneling right. Is there a right way to funnel? If there is, I bet you don't know it because why else do you have those shards of glass inside your anal cavity right now? Number three, you and me, sipping on some English tea. So not butt chugging. Oh, no, 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 no. We're sipping it through our asshole. Definitely not <laughs> doing that with you. Number two, how about some Yoohoo where you poo poo? That's right, it's already wet and brown downtown. Mamma mia, that's some diarrhea. Long silence. I think what I'm gonna do is email Paul no. and uh, <laughs> see if I have the permission to send you home or if he will. Um, you need to not be here today. How is that your call to make? I'm gonna tell him the circumstances and see if I can send you home. That's so illogical to really? me. Really? That's yeah. illogical? Because I think getting your anus wounds untreated- A really normal conversation in the midst of this. That's illogical to me. <laughs> I was like, there have been times when you stab me and like I'm finally like just, you've annoyed me so much that I'm just gonna check if I can send you home. I can't believe I haven't done that earlier. I'm already on number two, just let me finish the scroll. <laughs> Leaving the hospital saying, fuck this quack, you're a hack. I think that's illogical. Not fair. That's not fair? What you're doing in your body isn't fair. I'm almost done with the list. Three of your top ten haven't even been alcohol. One of them involved shoving a straw inside your dick. I mean, that's self-mutilation, <laughs> bud. <laughs> self-mutilation, bud. I forgot that was from this video. Have some fun in the sun, hun. Bring your ass to the beach and flop it down like a leech. Butt your knees by your ears, but don't feed your butt beers. Not vodka nor gin. No, those can't go in. Spread your butt cheeks wide, stick that funnel inside, now wait for the tide, you're going for a ride. You're a full grown guy with a tight brown eye, so make sure your lips are sealed and your record is sealed. Which alcohol is best for your asshole that stretch? Not red, nor white, nor Captain Morgan's delight. No, what will save the day? Oh, you don't say? It's drum roll, please. No. A simple rose. I love being denied a drum roll. Thank you. I don't mean it. Are you done with the list? Not until I celebrate. With a number nine. Please, not now, not here. What was number nine? That was oh, the no. fish? Oh, oh, it's in me. <laughs> that was the beginning of Rodrigo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that, I looked at the original script and the that was a late edition, the number one long poem one. Really? What was I, the first one? Thanks for asking. Wow, let's see this. In the original script, this was number one. 
Number one, tonight have fun and above all, take care of each other. <laughs> you, yeah. And I think you tweaked it to be like, it should probably end with you butt chugging in a more epic number one. Oh, wow. Good so for you. Me. Have it. Good you, on me. That's why you love the long list so much. You saved the day. Congratulations. I, I really do love, like writing these was so much fun. Do you remember there was a couple times when we've been like on the road, we do a live show and somebody comes up and like has a list, they, like they write a list for right. us. Right, or mean, they memorize that long yeah. one at the end. Oh man, it's so fun. Uh, what would you give butt chugging and fish scroll? I think I laughed more at fish scroll. I'd give that one an A. And butt chugging? A B plus. Hmm. It's hard. I, it's weird giving them good grades because they're like the form. They're a little formulaic. Yeah. But like, I guess I would give uh, butt chugging a little bit lower of a score because there was a couple that like weren't really rhymes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the pencil throw is funnier than anything in butt chugging. Too. Right. Yeah. But they always had to end on a fun twist. Yeah. I also feel like my lines in uh, butt chugging were like, it was just a little like all over the place. Like there's. I should have either like kept up with your like New Year's shenanigans or like been talking about sending you home, like talking to Paul. Like there wasn't really like a through line there that helped us end the video. Yeah. Where like the, in fish scroll, it starts with me throwing stuff at you. I throw one thing at you like in like almost the, <laughs> the early middle. Yeah. And then it ends with me hitting you with a pencil. And it's like, it's really great. Like I, my character arc there. Yeah, yes. You succeeded, but you didn't want that. Yeah. You didn't want it like that. I'll give Fish Scroll an A minus and Butt Chugging a B. A good old fashioned B. Nice. A B for Butt Chugging. Uh, let us know if we missed anything, what your favorite scroll is, if we should talk about other scrolls, which ones yeah. they should be, uh, and how you would grade these episodes. And uh, as always, we'll be back in a couple weeks. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching. Namaste.